Oh, hey man, how you do? Uh, well, anyway, I just finished collecting materials for my new tutorial. What happened?
Ha 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 ha. Um, the NT. Yo, what's up guys, it is Weird Dude, and in this video we are going to be building a brand new survival base. Now this base features a simple redstone key piston door to hide your entranceway and a beautiful desert themed interior. As we get in the base, first we have a crafting room with chests, furnaces, crafting tables and a big map. Downstairs we have a stylish living room, a cozy bedroom and a modern kitchen. The main materials are chiseled or regular sandstone, sand, granite, cacti, sea lanterns, white concrete, birch wood planks, quartz blocks and slabs, black stained glass panes and acacia wood planks. If you would like to see more secret bases like this, please make sure to hit the like button under the video. And now guys, let's get right into the build. So first of all, we're going to need a desert area. And we should try to find a spot something like this here. Once we are done, we can go ahead and clear a 2x5 rectangle in the ground and place 5 sticky pistons to the back side of the hole facing out. Behind the pistons we clear another 2x5 space. Place restore repeaters behind the pistons facing inwards. At the left side from the repeaters we create a 4x3 hole that is 3 deep. In front of this hole, at the left side, we break a block and place down a button. Place a redstone torch on the side of the block that is under the button. Place two hoppers in front of it, connecting to each other. After into the first hopper we place a block and rest on dust onto them. In front of the second hopper we place a rest on comparator facing out, then a rest on repeater facing out as well. Connect them to the repeaters that we placed before. It's supposed to work like this. Now as the pistons pulled back a line of sand, we have a 5 long hole in the ground and in this line we create an 18 blocks deep sandstone staircase.
Next to the staircase, replace the walls to chiseled sandstone. At the left side we can place some torches into the wall. Over the staircase we also replace the blocks to chiseled sandstone. Now at the right side of the staircase we break a block from the wall, replace the rear block to a chiseled sandstone and place a button onto the side of it. Now we create a path between the two buttons and connect them with redstone dust and redstone repeaters. We can check how it works. Let's cover the gap with sand and sandstone slabs. Please be careful not to break or block the rest on lines.
Under the pistons, place signs to the left side of the staircase, so the sand won't fall down. Let's place sand blocks in front of the pistons and check how it works. We place another line of sand into this gap to hide the pistons. Behind the first button let's create a random layer of sand. Let's place cacti around the button. If you use too high cacti as well, you can place a string to the top so it won't grow higher. On the right side of the button, we supposed to have a one block high cactus without string on the top, it will grow higher, but no worries, we just need to break the top two blocks, then we can reach the button, and also when it grows higher again, our button will be even more hidden. Let's get underground. After the staircase, dig in by two more layers. Now from the end of this tunnel, we dig nine more layers to the left. Dig 9 more layers to the right. And 60 more inwards. Remove the rest of the blocks from the middle. Remove two layers of the ceiling. Let's dig down by six more layers. At the bottom of this room, we remove three layers from each of the walls with the height of five blocks. Now at the bottom level of the first room we place three layers of granite around. Let's add a layer of white concrete as well. Now 
Now we extend the chiseled sandstone walls by 3 more layers. To the outer side of the walls we add one more layer. Add a few more chiseled sandstone blocks into the tunnel. Also place a torch into the wall. Place yellow carpets onto the ground. And an acacia wood door to the end of the tunnel. Now in this room we replace the ceiling to white concrete and the walls to chiseled sandstone. Now starting from one of the corners we place wooden trapdoors around the middle line of the granite layer with one block space between them. Over the trapdoors replace the granite to sand. Let's place cacti onto the sand blocks until the ceiling. Now we put sea lanterns into the ceiling between the cacti. Let's grab some black stained glass panes and place it around onto the white concrete layer until the ceiling.
Now to the top left corner we create an 8x7 white concrete frame. Let's place light blue glass into the frame. From the bottom right corner move to inwards and place 3 quartz blocks towards the left side of the room. Then 5 more forward. Let's place two black stained glass blocks to the right side of the last quartz block. Then fill the rest of the floor with black stained glass except the gap at the right side. To the left and back side of this gap we place light blue glass panes. And now we can go ahead and decorate the room with chests, crafting tables, furnaces, quartz slabs, fence gates, a flower pot with an oak wood sapling and item frames. Now we can create a big map for the item frames. So first of all we load a map in this area, this is going to be the bottom right one. Let's go for the top right part of the map. Then move all the way to the left and load the third map which is going to be the top left part. Now we move down and load the bottom left part of the map. Let's get back into the base and place the maps into the item frames. We can also place down a few more crafting tables to the middle. Let's remove an 8x7 rectangle of the ceiling. Place three white concrete blocks to the corners like this.
Priscilla and turns into the middle. And fill the rest with quartz slabs. Now let's create a quartz staircase down to the second room. Replace the rest of the ceiling to white concrete. Replace the walls to birch wood planks. Now let's replace the first three layers of this floor to granite around. Then we also create a white concrete frame. And now we replace the rest of the floor to acacia wood planks. Place sand into the middle line of the granite layer with one block space between them. Place cacti onto the sand. And let's place sea lanterns into the ceiling between the cacti. Let's grab some black stained glass panes and place it around onto the white concrete layer until the ceiling.
Place two more quartz blocks under the last block of this quartz line. From the bottom quartz block, place nine quartz slabs to the right. And connect the last one to the ground using quartz blocks. From the left side of this quartz column, break four blocks of the ground. Skip one and remove four blocks again. Now into the two holes we created, place water and sand. And place sugar canes onto the sand blocks. Place a wooden trap door and an oak door between the sugar canes. To the other side of the staircase, we also place two quartz blocks. Then two slabs to the left and connect the last slab to the ground with quartz blocks. Next to this pillar, remove two blocks of the ground. Place water and sand into the hole and put sugar canes onto the sand blocks. Now we can decorate this room with a wardrobe, a bed, crafting tables, a lamp using end rods and glowstones, paintings and carpets.
To the top right corner of the living room, we can create a sofa with a table with shelves over using quartz stairs and slabs and stone brick slabs. Let's place grey carpets around the table. We can also add a lamp to the top left side of the sofa. Now from the top right corner of the light blue glass floor, count one diagonally inwards and create a pillar using light blue glass and a quartz block. To the bottom right corner of this room, we create two frames using quartz blocks and slabs and cobblestone walls. Now from this pillar we create a kitchen using quartz blocks and slabs, stone slabs, a furnace, a cauldron and two iron blocks with an iron door in front of them. Let's place grey carpets in front of the kitchen with a glowstone beneath. We also place carpets in front of the staircase. And as a final step, we can also place a glowstone beneath the carpet at the sofa. And now guys, we are ready with our brand new secret base. 
Well guys, that's all for now, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if yes, please make sure to hit the like button, that really, really helps me out a lot, if you have any questions or ideas, leave me a comment, and if you wish more, just subscribe up to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you guys for watching, have an awesome day, see you in the next video.